just such a pleasure to be here. I'm going to start my talk by taking you on a journey back in time. Um, and specifically, I want you to imagine the early days of photography. Did you ever wonder why people in old photographs look so sad? Well, <laughs> I might have an answer for you. Um, in the plate-based photography times, the exposure time was so long that it took minutes and honestly, that meant that people could not maintain a smile for so long. And as a result, photos back from those days look so dour. And the format oftentimes is the same. People staring directly at the camera while sitting down. Which, yeah, results in this. Um, and photographers back in those days used to tediously expose their light-sensitive paper to an image and then manually remove the unexposed areas using subtractive methods. And that was a slow process of creating an image. Um, now, when we think about the electronics methods that are used in the manufacturing today, it's quite similar to that process. So I think, and this is my opinion, the subtractive methods um, in the electronics manufacturing industry are the dark room. And as you can see right here uh, in this PCB manufacturing journey, they've, they've done their job for a long time, but oftentimes at the expense of efficiency and time, um, a lot of materials waste, and honestly, intellectual property breaches as well. And looking at this very long journey, you can imagine the amount of labor and steps it takes to create an actual functional circuit board. And some of those steps are subtractive very similar to the darkroom photography, very manual. They, it takes a lot of time to remove the material to get to a final device. And this is kind of a problem with the industry. Honestly, this means that this method is quite inaccessible to most people around the world. Again, very similar to the photography in the early days, but that used to be only accessible to people that have access to chemicals. Obviously, what we want is this instant photography that is digital and accessible to everyone and allows us to capture these amazing smiles. So another question is, if you had to imagine this digital photography transformation for the electronics manufacturing industry, how would it look like? Well, Sienta is working exactly on that. Uh, our innovation is an additive manufacturing method called localized electrochemical modeling, or LEM. And LEM simplifies and accelerates the way we make an electronic device. And it's very similar to the, to the way digital photography has revolutionized the way we capture and process an image. Specifically, there's no better way of showing it in action than showing you uh, a video of our first product, Microfab, in action and producing a multi-material structure in less than a minute. So here you can see how an electrochemical potential is applied to a microelectrode that creates a highly localized electrochemical field that then allows us to deposit polymers, metals, and semiconductors. All of this happens at room temperature and without the use of any nanoparticles. And this product is already creating ripples. So our first customer in the solar industry is able to reduce their cost of metallization by a whopping 93%. And at the same time, they're able to increase their solar efficiency of the cells by 2%, which is quite incredible. But this is not just a prototyping method. So our next more ambitious uh, forthcoming product is Acheon. And Acheon is to electronics manufacturing what SLR was to digital photography. It introduces high resolution, scalable manufacturing to both Australia and the world. So what does that mean? In combination with our microfab product, Acheon creates a seamless pipeline all the way from innovation to production. Okay, so why do we care? What does that mean for electronics manufacturing in Australia and worldwide? Well, firstly, with the combination of our products and technology, we aim to make the production of electronics and honestly, the prototype of, of electronics as well, faster, cheaper, and more accessible to everyone. Secondly, for the first time, businesses will have a full in-house solution that will allow them to rely less on outsourcing their manufacturing, um, have less intellectual property breaches, and 
honestly will allow for a faster go-to-market strategy as well. Our method is a lot more sustainable and efficient than the conventional ma manufacturing methods that are used today, which is amazing to think about if we're planning for the future. And finally, we're not talking about a new technology or a new product. We're talking about a new era in the electronics manufacturing industry where innovation is unrestricted, prototyping is seamless, but the manufacturing is not only a possibility, it's a reality. So, to wrap up, I wanted to thank my amazing team who made this technology possible and who are responsible for me standing here in front of you, our amazing partners that have supported us through thick and thin, and honestly, my big call to action to all of you is to come talk to us if you think we can help you manufacture a prototype in Australia. We would love to try and do that because it's a, it's a big value for us. And we're also hiring, so go to our website. We have amazing engineering and non-engineering roles at the moment that we're seeking people for. And yeah, we would love to make you part of our amazing journey in democratizing electronics. Thank you so much. Fantastic.